Hill game, obviously a 1-0 defeat today. Talk me through your feelings after that. Yeah, we're disappointed. Uh, we thought we could get something out of the game. Before we arrived today, we thought we'd get something out of the game, but certainly during the game, we thought we'd get something. Um, credit to Stoke, I thought they were, they were excellent. They were really good, as expected. But I really thought we deserved something. Um, although I think Stoke edged it, edged the game possession-wise and play. I thought we dug in, we, we, we defended really well and uh, yeah, we deserve something. So it's, it's disappointing and sad at the minute, but it's certainly nothing that's fatal. It's hot me through the game. Where do you think we went wrong in the game? Well, ultimately the goal itself, the actual winning goal came from, I think it was the back of them getting five corners and a free kick. And they just kept having practice at loading the ball into the box really. And, and eventually we, we cracked and, and and the, the goal came from that, you know, a free header and a, somebody didn't jump with somebody and it's in the net. It was a good finish, actually, a really good finish, but th that's what it was. So a bit of defending detail would have meant that they'd have got throw-ins on the halfway line rather than corners, maybe. So uh, that's ultimately where the, game com uh, the goal c came from. But I don't think we made any fatal mistakes today. I don't th I'm not disappointed with our overall performance and the way we played. So, so yeah, we, we lost the goal because of the certain bits of detail that goals lead to, but nothing that we've done particularly wrong for the full 90 minutes. What was the conversation with the players like after that? How were they feeling? After the game, well, they're, they're, they're hurting. They're, and I'm pleased to see that, but I don't want them to be affected all week, of course, other than the response next week. But yeah, they're hurting. And I think that's a great sign because I don't think um, the team we had last year would have hurt to a 1-0 def defeat away to Stoke. I think they'd have accepted that very comfortably. Um, we're hurting, so so yeah, it's it's it, that's part of the development as well, part of the growth of the group. That always shows the development as well, since you come in at the players and then now they are actually hurting. They really, that really has affected on that loss. You're absolutely right, and and that's the that's the group we're putting together. That's the people we talked about selecting the right characters. Well, people who hurt when they lose, I hate losing. I hate it. I know how to cope with it, but I hate losing. So um, my team's reflecting that now as well, and they hate losing, and and that will that will push them to ultimately win eventually they'll start winning because they hate losing and they'll make the adjustments that are needed to, to get better and, and tidy up the details that make all the difference obviously you said before the game's not going to make or break you obviously now you know we need to work on the training ground as well you've got it and let's be honest because of the the covid regulations we couldn't um we couldn't have friendlies against teams that were higher than us, which ultimately we, we did want. We wanted teams from the Championship and the Super League, but we weren't allowed to do that. And playing teams in your own, particularly like the Northern League, was counterproductive because you give away a little bit too much. So we didn't play anybody there. And then financially, we can't travel south to play teams. So we ended up playing fourth tier teams and, and slightly lower. And that, that, that was great. And we had some really lovely competitive games. And But this is real now. And this is the standard, and this is the tempo, and that's the physicality. So, lots of our players haven't played senior football debuts today, full debuts for some, and that have learnt a lot, you know. So, they'll, they'll, they'll be up to speed very quickly. This is an intelligent group, people who are thoughtful and reflective, so they'll take all the lessons and they'll improve. They'll, they'll naturally grow, up, uh, grow at an accelerated rate. Offensively, we obviously struggled today, but defensively, I thought it was brilliant. Just talking with the defenders today. Oh, goodness me, yeah. The, the back four were immense they really were Katie Mackwell I said a few weeks ago that she, she's the rock in the cornerstone of our back four and she was Paige Crossman was fantastic just looked leagues apart really Holly did a great job at left back um, Kempe battled got stuck in and put her body on the line and then Brooke Smith when she came in at left back did such a terrific job and she was very unlucky not to be in the starting lineup to be honest so she's um, just come on 20 minutes to go and done a great job and yeah so the defense bodies on the line blood guts thunder anything to protect their goalkeeper and the goal and we just got undone with that, that sixth free kick really into the box in quick succession so so yeah that, I'm so proud of the back four particularly today because they did a, a terrific job